welcome back to my channel. So today's video will probably be different from the previous ones. It highlights the first step of approaching accurate drawing. So why wait? Let's continue watching. Before moving on to further steps, I'd like to advise you all to use your own photo taken and print it out in black and white color. Okay, let's move on. For the very first step, I use ruler to measure the length and the width of the image. And the size of the width is 20.5 cm and is divided by 5. The result is 4.1 according to my calculator. Some of you may wonder if there is any specific rule for deciding what numbers we should divide. Actually, the answer is no. So how can we know what number we should divide? I think our intuition plays an essential role in the situation. And remember that the larger number we divide, the more accurate our drawing will be. But don't use an extremely large number because it would be really hard to observe and compare in later steps. Next, the size of the length is 26.7 cm and is divided by 6 because the result is much better than it is when divided by 7 or 8. So that, that's the reason why I choose the number 6. There will be more calculations in this video, so enjoy watching! I made some changes during this process, but I will show you my final result including explanations. So from the beginning, I have the length and the width of the photo which are 26.7 and 20.5 cm consecutively. Then I choose 17.5 cm as the size of the width of the future drawing image on paper. This number is depending on the actual size of that paper. And after that, I use these data to calculate the length of the future drawing image. And here are my results. The purpose of these measurements is to reach similar ratio between the frame of the original photo and of the future drawing image. And this method is well known as ridge drawing. It is a technique that will help to improve accuracy when drawing. So you guys should really try this method. After constructing grid as shown, I start observing, comparing, measuring, and outlining all major parts of the photo on my paper. And I also use my fingers to compare the ratio more closely. But if you want to be more precise, you can use a thinner stick to make a more certain comparison. This step requires very patient and hard work, so to get motivated and energy, you can divide the crosses into small parts and take a short break after completing each one. When observing and measuring, I recommend you are to mark, point and even draw lines so that it will be much easier and more flexible to reach high accuracy. For those who are beginners in this kind of drawing, I honestly advise you to use your ruler to measure the distance between the size of each box and parts of the objects. That will improve your observations and measurement skills. And if you do more practice, you will be able to determine the ratios more precisely without using the ruler.
Finally, that's the end of the first part of the accurate drawing. If you have any questions or even want to express any feelings, ideas, or suggestions, please comment below. Other parts of accurate drawing will be uploaded in this channel, so you can click the subscribe button and a bell next to it to follow and catch up on my upcoming videos. Thank you so much and have a great day!